Hello everybody, welcome back to Soul Like Dotty. I'm Alison and this is Friday Souls, just a little catch up regarding what I've made this week. So I've made two things, one isn't quite finished and I'll explain that little saga to you shortly, but both items are in double gauze, part of the double gauze that I bought when I was on holiday. So I, the first thing I've made I'm actually wearing today, I've worn these, um, had them in the wash, got them back on again and it is the swear or pants that I was going to make so I'll just quickly show you the the picture of those again from the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. That's those there. This is the front cover of the book. If you're new to sewing this is an absolutely great book to have. It's got the, back, the patterns in the back that you can trace which I never do or you can go onto the uh, website, use the ISBN number and download the PDF files or the PDF AO to print files, which is what I've done in the past. There's lots of lovely things in here. I've made quite a few garments out of this. I do very much like the um, Bertha cardigan as well. I've made that before. There's Paige Joanna wearing one of those. There's the tablet, the t-shirt, there's the pyjama bottoms. I've made these uh, fire trousers into a play suit, which gives you um, directions in there. I've also made it into dungarees. So that's only a couple of the patterns that are in there. So it's a great, great starter book. Um, so one little tip is I didn't get it off to the Tilly and the Button side. I got it off World of Books or something like that for about £17. And um, so I saved quite a bit of money doing it that way. Okay, so I will drop a picture of these in. They're just in a dark grey, double gauze. They're dead simple. Didn't put the pockets in. I never do. Um, somebody was asking me about, like, would it sag in the knees? I would say... Um, double gauze as a pair of trousers acts a little bit like linen does so as you start to move around in them I feel like it gives a little bit it it did go a little bit saggy it's not the best word to describe anything really is it a little bit round the knees not as much as linen did but then I've um, washed them had them on the line put them back on today no iron required the only thing I would say is they do feel in this cuff which is quite a wide-ish leg, you can see there. In this cut, they feel a little bit pyjama bottom-ish for me. So the next ones that I make, I think I'm gonna use the Friday Patney, so what, Patney? The Friday Pattern Company, Saguaro so set trousers, which are a wider leg. I want them to have a little bit more swoosh as I'm walking in them. So that's my next pair that I'm gonna make. And I'll be honest, I'm wearing them like secret pajamas around the house. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Billy jumper that I made a few weeks ago, and I've got them on with that. So I'll stand up, but I don't think you'll really be able to see very much. So they're in this dark gray double gauze, which was from Rainbow Fabrics. I will um, take a picture and drop it in. So very straightforward make. I'm trying to think when I made them, I made them maybe last Saturday afternoon. I mean, it's literally like an hour to make them. You don't even attach a waistband, you just fold it over and put the elastic through. So item number two that I've made, but almost made, is the um, sew over it a zady blouse in the longer length that I'm wanting to have as like a shirt dress slash pool cover up, wear it in a few different ways. So as I said last week, you can have it in this blouse length or you can have it in this shirt length. Now, I'm not gonna show you a picture of it, you'll understand why. I will put a picture in next week. So I'll, I'll come back to it very briefly next week. Um, but I found it a very easy make. Um, Lisa Comfort does have on the Sew Over It um, YouTube channel, there is like a bit of a sew along to it from, I think it was in lockdown that it was launched. Um, but I did find it really easy. The quirky part of it, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this and the line drawings, but if I can find the pattern pieces, I'll show you what I mean, is around the sleeve. <clears throat> so the sleeve pieces, this one here, it's a raglan sleeve and um, it's got this sort of dart at the top of the sleeve and, and a couple of you said it's a bit difficult to fit on the sleeve and Lisa talks about that on the, the vlog. Not that it's difficult but how to adjust it to get it right. Now because it's double gauze, obviously if you, you can press double gauze but you lose the double gauziness out of it. So I found it a little bit tricky to get that fit right on the shoulder. Um, so I've got it on a hanger to show you. So you end up with this 
sort of dart which effectively sort of runs along the top of your shoulder now she does say about extending it and adjusting it so i had i had to make it slightly longer so i think it was meant to finish here and i've had to adjust it down to here because otherwise i was getting too much of a bump there now it wouldn't normally bother me with the dart i'd be able to give it a really good press and get into it but it just didn't look right so i've extended it and i'm happier with it however I don't know if this is going to work but the next time I got to I cut it out I'm just going to cut instead of cutting the dart I'm just going to cut this piece straight across because you put gathers across here in the center back and it's gathered here coming into the collar at the front and I just think it's worth a try I'd probably only do one arm to slightly gather that in and start to attach the collar and see how it looked so that would avoid having this issue here now it's only very gently gathered and you're only talking about that much so it wouldn't be a lot of gathering and you could sort of spread it out across that whole thing so it would effectively be slightly gathered all the way around if it doesn't work i'll just take it out and i'll just cut recut the pattern piece um, and i think i'm going to make it next in viscose so i can see how that works um, but as you can see it's sort of a granddad type collar so you've just got like your collar stand you've got your gathers here it's open down to here and then you've got eight buttonholes buttons that you put on now with the cuff it's meant to have a placket then the cuff and a button and I didn't want to do that I think probably I will be rolling the sleeves up on these but what I did was I just put a cuff on and gathered it into the cuff and I'm I'm happy with that I've done it so it finishes about here and um, and it is just a throw on sort of round the pill so I don't want it to be too short but I think next time I've put on the pattern piece cut this a couple of inches wider I think I'd still put a cuff on it would be less gathered into it but it would just give it a bit more structure to roll the sleeve up I've kept some double gauze so if I do want to take these off and do that I'm able to it's not a problem the problem is nothing to do with the pattern whatsoever because I actually found it a really enjoyable make it's all hemmed I've done that on the cover stitch machine and um, to show you that so it's all I did it with like the twin needle rather than three and um, but again a little bit tricky with the double gauze because you can't like get in and give everything that good press that you normally would but the advantage of that was this had been in a project box uh, bag from Sunday for Sawtoon and when I got it out yesterday it was creased I just put it on a hanger shook it happy days so that is perfect for traveling and things and um, which is what I want it for so I decided because I've got my new Vario Creative presser thing that I wanted to put plastic snaps on. Anyway, long story short, I've faffed about with it for ages and I've realised that you use a round disc and I've lost the round disc that is the right size for my snaps. And the reason that it was kind of crushing them when I put it together was because I was using the one that was too small. So I think it's about three pound for that little bit of kit. So I've ordered that, that's coming tomorrow. So I thought, well, that's okay. Cause I've got those metal ones that I used on the tote pack last week. So I did all of this side. I put all of the metal snaps on here where you put the little prongs through the back and then the, the round metal piece on yeah that was fine till i got the other side i mean it's interfaced it's not massively thick but again i have pressed it but you can't get in and give it a really good you know what i mean so i have been on all afternoon trying to get the other side on i just can't get them to stay on and i was watching lauren from guthrie garney because she's done quite a good vlog so these are the ones that you meant to use on jersey now they were fine on the canvas tote bag that i made last week but i think that's because probably the weave of it was a little bit um, more open and you could really get the pointy bits through and lauren said does say in her vlog although it's for jersey if it's really thick you might not get it through and i think that's what's happening so where the pointy bits come through the bit that's round just can't get a grip onto that so 
then I had to get my jewellery pliers out and remove all eight that I'd done on the other side. I mean, there's not a sense of frustration here at all. I haven't spent all afternoon on this at all. So I removed them and then I thought, oh, stuff it. And I'm being polite because I was at a gig last night and I'm really, really tired today. I'll drop a picture in. I did 18,000 steps or something at the gig. Um, and it was just a bit of a late one. We had friends up to stay and things. I wasn't massively drunk or anything. I don't really drink that much. I'm just a little bit tired. So I thought, right, find some buttons. I found some little wooden buttons. Sat on my buttonhole foot. Did two perfectly. Got to the third one. No, it's just not having it. And I, I don't even think it's that thick. It's just, well, maybe it is where it's folded over, but it's, it's just not having it. So then I've spent the rest of the afternoon unpicking those two and a half buttonholes. We've all been there, haven't we? And I've just decided that I just need to stop. The actual little bit to put the poppers on is coming tomorrow. Because otherwise I thought if I fanny on any more with this, it's going to be that chewed up. It's going to look like a dog's dinner and I'm just not going to be able to wear it. So that's why I'm not sharing a picture with you. But what I can tell you is I really like it. Apart from the buttonholes popper slash situation that's going on. It's I'm five. I like to say six and a half, but I'm probably five, six now. Um, so about one six six centimeters and it, i would say it comes just past my knee it's got a slight um like slope down in the center of the back which again i think would look better if i could press it and i don't i think what's making me nervous is um i wanted to get a really nice sort of lie on the collar and when i press this side i feel like it's kind of gone a bit If there's a word for something like why bother using it, just use instead. Um, so I don't want to press the hem in case that happens to the hem. You know what I mean. So overall, I really like it. Double gauze. I've sewn with it before. I've made a um, indigo dress out of it and I do really like it. But um, with the shirt, it's a little bit tricky. I mean, it's doable, but it's trickier. Um, so I think rather than rush in and cut another one, I am going to make another shirt, but I want to get this completely finished and happy with it before I rush into that. Because there's no rush. I don't really need them till um, September for our next um, holiday that we're going on a plane because we've got a couple of things before then. So that's what I've made this week. I've made a mess. Well, I've, it, I haven't yet but i think if i'd kept going i would have so what else am i on with i'm on with my so fruity makes and um, i hope that you're joining in that this month and um i've got a vlog coming out on sunday with that now i'm working on a two-piece i'm hoping that i can get them both finished in time obviously we don't have to have them made up we can just talk about the fabric i've only got one fruity fabric but um yeah, I'll talk more about that on Sunday. So I hope you've had a good week. I hope if you've done buttonholes, they went better than mine. I hope if you've used, used poppers, they've popped and been better than mine. And if you've got any tips on that, please drop it in the comments because it will be very gratefully received. So I'm going to say over and out and I will catch you on Sunday and then next Friday. So bye for now and very happy so on to you.